Guys, how's it going? MST Outdoors here, showing you my new redesigned shoulder rig. So, let's talk some of the differences here. Shoulder straps, still the same. Um, instead of Chicago screws making it adjustable, we got these rivets here, and there is a slide buckle. This is um, a thin leather, so it's still leather, and you're able to adjust it just like you would a, like a backpack or something like that. The holster itself is on these Chicago screws here. So it can, you know, pull out a little bit, pull in a little bit, depending on your size. There's the holster. We'll go a little bit more in depth in that in a minute. And instead of the ammo loops, we are now going to have a speed strip pouch it's going to look a little different than this but basically it's just going to be thinner where it goes over the ammo instead of over the whole thing but that is that and then on the back here i the way i've got this designed and i was wearing it all day today it doesn't fall too far forward or too far back so you don't even need that back strap like i had before it works great just like this so, this pivots here, like I said before, so this is adjustable, you know, helps it rock either way in and out. This is your back piece, just like that. And then these straps are adjustable as well, but the same thing. Once you get it adjusted the way you like it, it's good to go. Now, let me show you the cool thing about the shoulder, the holsters themselves. All right, so let's talk about this new design and what's so cool about it. So it disconnects just like the other from a D-ring. I'm gonna use the square Ds now, I guess they're called, but anyway, so that's normal. It comes on and off with Chicago screws, no biggie. Thumb brake to let the gun in and out. The difference before with mine is they were fixed and this yoke part here was all built in to the holster so that's not going to be like that anymore this is a completely separate piece and i'm going to show you what's cool about it so on the back here you see two screws and you see a bunch of different holes too so what the significance of that is is you'll see when i take this off here you notice right now it's in a what I'd call an angled position, okay? But you take these screws off here real quick. Doo, 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 doo. That, was, that was theme music. And you'll notice, I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but there's an H, H, V, V, A, A. And this one is an H2, and I'm gonna show you what that means. So. These are different mounting points for the holster. If you want it straight vertical, you would connect it to the Vs right here. See these screws on the back? So it would go like this and it would mount straight up and down. If you want it at the angle, like we had before, hook it to those and it goes to a slight cant. If you want it completely horizontal, you could utilize this screw hole as well as this one. And the gun will sit completely horizontal like this onto your holster. You can move it as many times as you want, whether you lock tight it, as long as you don't lock tight it, of course. And you could change angles. Also, you could change positions. Uh, I mean, you could change guns if you Let's say you have the Bond, but then you've got a 1911. You can order a holster for the shoulder rig for the 1911. And it's all a universal plate. This is universal, this is universal. It's gonna fit on all of them. And what the even cooler part about this is, it's an extra that you can order, is these holes mount up perfectly to the XL Ulti Clip. This holds up to a one and three quarter inch belt. And so what that means, you can screw it onto there like so. 
You can also take this off your shoulder rig and use this as an outside the waistband holster. And this thing right here, these ulti clips, they'll clip onto anything and they're not going anywhere. So they run an extra um, $18 for these if you want them with this setup. Uh, everything's gone up. What else is new? <clears throat> so when you order your shoulder hol holster, you can either order them yourself off of Amazon, how much they cost on Amazon, it's 18 bucks, or you can add it onto the order and I'll send one with it, whichever you like. But I thought that was a cool little bonus there. You can add it, you just, you'll just screw it on there. And you could have outside the waistband holster if you'd like with thumb brake. Goes like this. Then you pull the gun out. This is unloaded by the way. And so there's that. I mean, it's pretty simple. And it is a pretty neat design, I think. I'm working on the chest holster too is gonna be similar. It's gonna be based around this design for the ulti clip. So the chest holster plate is also going to be able to mount this holster to it. So you could buy the chest holster harness on a later date and they'll both work together with one holster. You just have to buy two different harnesses. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm not going to be able to get this on the website tonight, but they will be on there tomorrow, Friday, April something. So keep an eye out. Uh, the price for these is going to run, they're going to be 125 for the shoulder holster and then 150 if you want the uh, speed strip pouch on the opposite side. If you don't want the speed strip pouch, it's going to have just a plate like this on the other side. So it gets connected. Uh, is that anything else that needs to say? Oh yeah, these would be the $18 extra for that too. Uh, yeah, these are all made to order like the rest of them. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And thanks for watching.